But before that, we have another one here oh, for God, you. And no. this time, I am positive somebody got their ass beat afterwards. Yep. What did he shoot her with? A nerf? N- it's, it's just a nerf dart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting your ass beat. (laughs) You just wait till your dad gets home, mister. No, I I used to do shit like that to my mother all the time. Just shoot her in the ass randomly when she wasn't looking? You know, I would make, I would do stuff at like inopportune times. Like one time (laughs) she's up there trying to wire up, uh, it's like a chandelier in the living room. Yeah. And I walk in and I'm like, Right for the wooden spoon. <laughs> Asses were beat. And I deserved it. <laughs> All you did was come in and go, eh. <laughs> you know, eh. Like, did an electric, like a sound like an electricity. Oh, okay. Because she's in there fucking with like, she's like. <laughs> <laughs> I got my ass beat. That was classic. Man. I would just imagine you do it more like the Tyrannosaurus Rexitis sound effect. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, no. That's uh, my friend Melina's mother. <laughs> or the chicken that first clip that we watched. Oh, yeah. <laughs> tyrannosaurus. She's got a butt in the front and the back, guys. You, you have a problem. That's full blo- That's full blown Tyrannosaurus rexitis right there. Yeah. People should not look like, you know, teardrops with arms and legs. Yeah. And then, you know, sooner or later, like, they get so freaking big, it's like they have trouble reaching stuff. Can you please hand me that other piece of chicken? Well, because, like, yeah. their hands literally shrink up, their gums recede, their hairline goes back a little bit, and they kind of lean forward because their back kind of hurts because they're so fucking fat from, like, the waist <laughs> down. And they have, like, this waddle thing, and it literally looks like a Tyrannosaurus ass. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's hilarious. It, it is. It is. And and now we're officially istafo bigots, but who cares? I don't care. Emotional damage. Hey, look, man. If you look here carefully, you see that? That's all the fucks I give. Yeah. Right there. Rub it in. Rub it in. All right. Iron Riddle. This one is called Pranks for the Ranks. E3 slash E4 Mafia. No, no. There's only E4 Mafia. Oh, there's no E3, E3 Mafia? No. Okay, well, uh, maybe in his unit there was. Who knows? It says, uh, prior to deployment, there is a shite ton of training that happens. Yep. During these workups, the pilots and aircrew fly the dog shit out of the aircraft. <clears throat> During the flights, there is nothing to do but wait until they return so they can be flipped, repaired, and ready for the next day. In these marine squadrons, there are always two maintenance material control officers, or MMCOs. The first one is always a chief warrant officer. The other, the first lieutenant, who is never a pilot. Pilots learn very early to be kind to the enlisted who fix the planes that they fly. There's a level of mutual respect. Mm. One year we had an MMCO from the academy and also from a wealthy family. This douche was convinced he was God. Fuck it. And all must bow before him. A real asshat. Oh, yeah. You ever worked with anybody like that? Uh, Yeah, yeah. I had a commander, Worthless. Oh, Major Worthless. Total asshat. Yep, I uh, had a regional manager at Blockbuster who was like that. He would just walk in like his shit don't stink, and I'm like, dude, I know your rental history. You're not getting any at home. I was talking to one guy years ago, and he worked on an aircraft carrier, and he was one of the dudes that helps get the pilots, hands them their straps, they get in and make sure they're in their fucking seat. Yeah. This one pilot was just a fucking asshole all the time. So he had a custard eclair. And as he was getting in the seat, he like threw it down. The guy sat on it, didn't notice it right away. <laughs> and 30 minutes in there, he's like, I oh, got shit on God damn. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> and maybe somebody's trying to tell you something. Like uh, a little, little custard shit. Uh, it was pretty good. It's pretty good. It <laughs> he continues here. One night, all the aircraft were flying, and it was near midnight. Everyone was fucking bored, too. Just mindless oh, zombies. That is the worst. Yeah. When the portable radio gets keyed, and in a Batman tone voice, I'm touching myself. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome and perfect humor to break the boredom for everyone. We're now laughing our asses off and grateful for the break <laughs> in the dead of the night. 
<laughs> You're gonna have some officer <laughs> clear the net, clear the net. Clear. They, always, they always do that. They always do that because I've seen, I've heard this before. Yeah. It'd been great if somebody answered back as the Joker. That would have been awesome. No, I'm touching myself too. Oh, mm. yeah. uh, <laughs> that likely would have been the end of it. But first, Lieutenant Asshat keys over the mic and starts chewing everyone out for violating radio transmission regulations, paragraph, blah, blah, sub, paragraph, blah, 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 and on and on. Yeah, and what he's trying to say is, eat a dick. Yeah. Eat a bushel of dicks. Big no, bushel. I take that back. Eat the all the dicks. bag. <laughs> yeah. On and on about discipline and code of conduct. Now shut up. We were all murmuring a slew of names for First Lieutenant Asshat, and eye-rolling was unleashed as he was stealing our joy in the moment. But... Here we go. As soon as the radio went silent... I'm still touching myself. <laughs> <laughs> this was absolutely golden. The oh. laughter was even more intense oh than God. before. <laughs> as First Lieutenant Asshat <laughs> got back on the radio for another round of radio counseling. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be so effective. <laughs> Which was being broadcasted around the entire squadron. <laughs> he was in turn violating the very thing he was trying to stop in the first place. <laughs> it's just like when you see a cop car pull an illegal U-turn to, to pull over somebody who's doing five over. You're like, really, dude? <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> just let it go. <laughs> then he adds, anyone giving me information that will lead to the capture of the criminal violating the FCC regulations, I'll buy him a pizza. Oh, you might have gotten the popster on that one, though. I'm not narking on people. Not, not, not for something like that. That's totally harmless. Uh, not Nobody's even for getting pizza? Hurt. I don't know, not man. A, you, not, I wouldn't roll on another guy. For you're not going to roll on for pizza. Okay, no. so you heard it here first. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> Stop! Stop it now! I order you to stop! I'm still touching myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Now, I don't know exactly what happened after that, but a few weeks later, we had a new MMCO. <laughs> Damn it, we broke another one. <laughs> yeah, well, the thing is, is uh, when you get lieutenants like that, they start really getting stupid. The people are above him are like, you know, um, those guys fix all our shit, and it's really not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. and you're really being a dick. I think we're going to move you somewhere else because I think bad thing is going to start to happen to you if you keep doing that. <laughs> His, the smart thing with him, he said one thing, and that's, that's it. Then he went. He should have went. Found the E7 that's in charge of everyone. And go, hey, look, man. Yeah, these guys are fucking around. I understand. Just, just make it. Yeah, just trying stop to it. bribe people with pizza to narc on their buddies. Come on. Yeah, because I was that guy a couple times. What do you want? You want me to find the mad shitter? Hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll, I'll get right on that. Well, sir, uh, what, what exactly happened? Well, he shit my hat. He shit my <laughs> helmet. He shit on V. He shit on my desk. He shit in my bed. Like, well, sir, um, maybe somebody's trying to tell you something. <laughs> I knew who did it. Was this the same man shitter who took a dump in the tank? Yes. When you're doing that? Yes, the same guy. <laughs> he was famous for that. Oh, man. How, I can't do that. I can't shit on command like that. It must be a skill I, or something. I, I don't know. Maybe he's, he, maybe he's a mutant. I don't know. Maybe he's born with it. <laughs> but I knew who it was. But I Maybe it's gabely. <laughs> I wasn't going <laughs> to fuck him up. Because, you know, we're in a war zone, and he wants, I'm going to bust him down two ranks. I'm like, well, that's not going to happen. No. Did he throw the shit at him? <laughs> <laughs> Did he go full-blown monkey Did pox? Did it get no. in your mouth? <laughs> Oh, uh, if it did, it shut up. It, it's it, stupid. If it got in your mouth, then maybe you'd have a have a case, or, or you know, he, oh. he amber herded it and it was just all in the bed, whatever. Well, I mean, that was a big turd. I because I came in and saw that. It's like, this is disgusting. <laughs> uh, what do you want me to do? About it? What do you want me to do? Say, sir, shit happens. <laughs> You're a worthless fucker. <laughs> oh my god, it was hilarious. <laughs> Uh, he's got a little extra thing here. He says, at the same time, we had a maintenance control senior staff NCO who was always a master gunnery sergeant slash E9. He would always go to the staff NCO club every Friday night. He would get blackout drunk, and to prevent himself from driving, he would leave the keys to his Ford Ranger in his desk. Then he would lock his office, walk to the club, and take a cab home. 
What's well, okay? Nothing wrong with that. Actually, reminds me of a a waiter that I used to work with at Olga's Kitchen. Uh huh. My dad used to call him the gay caballero because <laughs> <laughs> he used to wait tables at a place down in Rare Oak. It's no longer there. And I wound up being his co-worker over at Olga's. And uh, every night after work, he would go and he would spend, like, the majority of his tip money at the bar at Max and Irma's. And I was talking with a guy who, uh, you know, runs the bar over there. And he's like, yeah, I actually had to give that guy a ride home one night. And while he was getting a ride home, apparently pissed and shit himself in the dude's passenger seat. Didn't that, say a word about it. Got out of the car and left. That is just, that's bad form. That is very bad that's form. bad form. That, you're going to get your ass beat for some shit like that. Oh, I don't yeah. care if you're not going to get a drunk waiver for that. Yeah, yeah, no free Ubers for you after that one. Uh, one night was especially boring, so we executed our E3 Mafia plan. Ah, yeah. Well, according to, according to Pop, that doesn't exist. Uh, we got a ladder removing the drop ceiling, mm-hmm. went over to the wall into the Master Gunny's office, took his key, and moved his truck from its designated parking spot at the hangar and put the keys back. Next morning, Master Gunny couldn't find his truck, and he was quite concerned. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he had driven his truck while drunk and didn't know where he parked it. <laughs> he was worried that he was driving drunk again. He was so worried and stressed, I actually started to feel sorry for him. It was time to do the morning uh, FOD walk, or police call, yep, uh, yep. for you around ground types. This is where we walk the flight line looking for anything that could get sucked up into the engines or anything. blown up by the engines, which become like bullets. Oh, yeah. Then someone on the line yelled, Hey, Master Guns, we found your truck! He quickly ran over to that location. His truck was parked in the back of one of the helicopters. (laughs) Oh, God. He smiled a little, looked relieved, and chuckled a bit. All he said was, Yep, it's a good burn. (laughs) (laughs) That's exactly what I would be like. All right. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box. 